want to hear from one of the keys to this game. You heard from a couple of guys on the floor afterwards, but you cannot overstate the importance of if Jonas Jerebko's contribution in this game to the Boston Celtic attack. You talk about everybody contributing, Charles. Jonas, congratulations on an unbelievable win. You go two for two from distance. You go four for four. You, uh, overall, you, you gather in five rebounds, and you were getting into it with, you name it, Darren Williams, whoever you needed to get yeah, into we, it with. We needed something to get going, so yeah. it felt good. Yeah, I was going to ask you. I mean, this was just one of those things. Can you take me inside the locker room to give me a, a, a flavor of the mentality going into game three when nobody said this series would go past four? Yeah, I mean, that's been the story of our season, man. Nobody really believed in us, and, you know, we just kept fighting. and. You know, losing those two at home hurt, and, you know, we wanted to come here and, and show the, that we can play. And, uh, you know, it felt good to get that win tonight, and, uh, yeah. Jonas, Charles Barkley, number one, congratulations. Thank you. Why in the hell did y'all start arguing and fighting with the Cavs? You didn't do that in game one and game two. I give you a shout-out, number one, for bringing that aggression and energy. Marcus Smart did some. Why did y'all just start tonight? yapping back at those guys and competing yeah I, I think we gave them a little bit too much respect in those first two games and uh you know if you know we're out there to compete and uh, i didn't think we competed that hard those first two games like you said and uh, you know i just wanted to come out there and play aggressive and, uh, and play with some attitude and you know obviously uh, it felt good to knock down some shots too well i, I think jonas is kenny smith good job thank firstly. you firstly i think overall you know just from a spectator fan point of view Shit's and analyst what? uh Shit's there was a defensive difference more than an offensive difference. I thought that you there were tough shots yeah. by Kyrie and LeBron today where I wasn't sure, and we kept saying, what is the game plan for LeBron James? And I'm still, until the last quarter and a half, actually saw a change in game plan. And was there one? Yeah, there was a change in game plan. Uh, you know, I think we uh, played a lot better today. We, uh, we tried to make him shoot some jump shots, contested. Uh, not letting him get to the rim and just play physical. Uh, you know, I think we did a good job of it, and, uh, you know, we're going to try to do it next game too. Well, well uh, let me ask this question. Yeah. Number one, congratulations. Do you hate Kelly Olenek's man bun as much as I do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, maybe if we win this series, we can get a bet with him and he can cut it off. So uh, hopefully we can win the series and get it done. Hey, uh, Jonas Jarebko. congratulations very much on for an unbelievable me. Boston effort tonight. 2-1 series now. You're assured of a return to Boston for at least a game five in this series. Feels good. We owe the fans that, and we're going to go go get a win in Boston and then uh, hopefully get one uh, next game, too. Thanks for Thank taking the time, much. man. Nice Thank going. You. Hey, Ernie. Yes. It can be overstated, his contribution, because to me, he's the first guy who started yapping back at the Cavaliers. And you at some point, it just becomes pure competition. And his energy, it, it shows up. When he got into it with Darren Williams, he starts yelling at Kevin Love. Time, but you're flopping. You're flopping. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Yeah. You're flopping. I mean, man, that that fires everybody up. Charles and I talk about this all the time.